Hi friends, welcome back to SQL with Ravi Martha. Today we'll see how to find missing sequence dates using SQL. This is part 28 of this series. If you haven't watched the previous videos, I'll have the links in the description of this video. And if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel for more SQL videos. And let's get started with today's video. So this is a problem statement. We have a table which is having higher date example. We have uh, 2020-0101 and 1st of January, 3rd of January, 5th, 7th, 10th and 12th. And uh, the output we require is if there is a gap in the dates, right? For example, here 1 and 3, 2nd January is missing. So we want to find such missing sequence dates. And here 4th of January is missing, 6th of January is missing, 8th of January, 9th of January and 11th of January. So these missing dates we want to find out. For example, in real time, if we want to find out a product which is not sold on a particular date, right? So those dates we can find using this particular scenario, right? So let's get, uh, let's create this scenario and uh, write a query to find out the missing sequence dates. Let me go back to the SQL Server Management Studio and start writing the query. So let me say uh, how we can solve this problem. So first thing, we want to consider the minimum date in the table, that is January 1st, and then we want to consider the maximum date from the date, from the table, that is 12th of January. To solve this, we want to generate complete date sequence from the minimum date to the maximum date. So I have created a date range from Jan 1st to Jan 12th. Now if I do a left join, so this is table which we are going to create and this is the table which we have as the input. When we do this, A left join this B, that is the input, then we are going to get the, the missing date sequence right so let's get started right so I'm creating a table employee hire dates and I'm inserting some values here let's see the table here so we have 1st Jan and till 12th of Jan so there are only six rows and there are some dates which are missing so this particular scenario we can write a while loop or we can write a recursive CTE to achieve the same, right? So here what I'm doing, I'm declaring two variables, start date, end date, and I'm getting the minimum date and I'm storing it in at this at start date variable, right? And max date into another variable that is end date. I'm writing a recursive CTE. So I'm naming it as employee underscore CTE and I'm having a column so I'm using a column date sequence here and the anchor query is so I'm starting with the start date and this will execute only once so that's called anchor query and then I'm doing a union all and I'm writing the recursive query so select I'm using date out function so I'm adding one day each time from the CTE and I'm adding till it is less than end date. Once it is greater than end date or equal to end date, it will exit the loop, right? So date add this particular function, this does is, so I'm saying add date. So one day each time to the date which is generating here, right? So if I run this entire code, right? So we are just getting the min and max and we are just incrementing the dates by one day each time so if I execute this so we can see the entire table has been generated so let me scroll through so it is Jan 1st till Jan 12th 2020 right so we got the full date sequence for ranging from Jan 1st to Jan 12th right so let me comment this for now and I'm, what I'm doing, I'm just doing a left join. 
so I'm saying select date sequence as missing sequence date from the CTE so which has the full date range and this is the dates which we have in the higher dates so when we do when I join this on dates and when I'm seeing the employee wherever the date is missing in the input table so we will get all those rows and max recursion I'm just giving zero for now so that it can take as many iterations as it as possible so let me run the entire code which would give the missing dates so that is 2nd of Jan 4th of Jan 6th 8th 9th and 11th of Jan which we have seen in the output so this is how we can find missing sequence dates in SQL so I'll place these queries in the description of this video I'll also include the playlist link for my SQL videos so if you have any other queries do let me know and if you have any other easy ways to achieve this result please do comment in the comment section and if you like my video please do subscribe and thank you for listening have a great day